guys, it's Nick the Booksmith. Welcome back, welcome back. So let's get into the next part of the lap book today. Let's see, last time we did this, we finished up the, the lid, the lid, the lid. So let's work on this little pull-out section. So what I wanted to do on this section was I wanted to turn this into a pocket on the outside, but I wanted a little, maybe a little window. Do you remember my peekaboo windows? Remember those a billion years ago? Um, I have some of these cards. And I also had some onion skin, which is basically like tracing paper. And I have some acetate. So I thought I would take one of these and I'm going to cut it down. I want this little tab to kind of stick over the edge a little bit. And I need to cut it about mm, right under where it says 600. So there is that. I'm going to round the corners. So I don't think I'll round these corners because those they really don't matter. Okay, but on the back side, let's figure out our window. How has everybody been doing? Um, I hope everybody's good. I haven't been feeling very well. So that's why you haven't seen me. <laughs> Just it's like it's like you know when you don't feel real great. Um, it's hard to get your, your brain engaged. Well, it's hard for me to get my brain engaged anyway, but you know what I mean. You know the drill. So I'm going to come in one inch from this side and down about half of an inch. Turn that over. And let's do the same thing on this side. And then we will connect the dots. So I've decided that I think I need a massage. Does that sound good? I've never had like a real honest to goodness massage before. Um, like by a masseuse or a massage therapist or so I'm thinking you know that might not be a horrible thing. It sounds fabulous. Anyway, okay, that looks not even. Hold on. Scoot, scoot this back. This is why you draw it on the back, not on the front. It's just barely off, but off enough. I can relate um, off enough to uh, make you notice. At least make me notice. Okay. Now I'm going to take a wee craft knife and I will follow the lines, the correct ones, and cut out the window. But today is Friday, which means a lot for the majority of the, you know, the working world. Not so much for me because I don't work a Monday through Friday kind of a thing. I work every day. Um, but, but Friday is still nice. It's still nice. It's just not the it's just not the same, man. And I've been working on some t-shirts. Um just some fun some fun t-shirts, some booksmith stuff. And um I'm getting those posted up at Redbubble. Redbubble.com. So I'm working on that as well. 
We could use this later. You should never, never know. So, do we want to ink? Do we want to ink? Let's ink. Let's just do it. Then I also tore apart my supply closet, which is, it's just a closet, like in a bedroom sized room. So it's not like it's a big, fat, huge, hairy deal, except for there was a lot of stuff crammed in there that was just not organized. And it gets to the point where, it, you know, when you can't find anything, it's, it's time. Well, it was time. So everything is out of that closet. And um, I went and got some shelving, just some inexpensive shelving. You know, the, the type that um, you put the tracks on the walls and then you click in the little brackets and then those are adjustable and so the brackets hold in whatever shelves you decide. You can either buy the shelves or if you have planks of wood you can do that, you know, whatever. So I put some shelves in there and I got a bookcase off of Craigslist and I put that in here for um, well, to get books off the floor or out of the way and, you know, that kind of stuff. And it's like six feet tall and it was built back in the 60s, I think, by a gentleman that went on to build houses. But what was so cool was that he built it for his mama who um, worked at a book bindery. I thought, well, pff, that was meant to be. Uh, so she actually put china, like her china in it was in her, um, her dining room, you know, her china cabinet, but mine has books in it. So I'll have to show that. I'll have to show that to you when I get my, um, my closet all put back together and I got to go get some bins or totes or something. I'm just not motivated at the moment because I don't feel great. Do you ever do that? You just, what do they say? I think I ran out of spoons or somebody took my last spoon, you know, whatever. So I'm going to add acetate and the onion skin because um, I don't want it to be too flimsy flopsy. So I'm going to do both. So I'm going to just mark with a pencil. There's that, and then that makes it easier to cut the acetate. Well, at least I think it does. So we're gonna go with that. The acetate, however, needs to be cut just a little bit bigger. I think I'm gonna slice this on the paper trimmer. So that is just a tiny bit bigger. And that actually may need to get cut down. So I'm going to put the, um, this paper first, and then I'll put the acetate on and trim it down as needed. I think I'm gonna make a pot of soup. Doesn't that sound good? Just a nice pot of soup. I think that's what I'm going to do. I just gotta get my myself in gear. I need to go run some errands and um, get some stuff for soup. That's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to make pasole, which is a childhood favorite of mine. I'm going to make sure that I stretch this um, onion skin so that it's not like folded. You don't want it ripply. There's my little, my little window. And it doesn't look like you'll be able to see much through it, but once you get it set down, you actually do see quite a bit. So this is just a little bit bigger. 
which is fine. I'm going to glue um, down another strip of glue for the acetate. So I should give you my recipe for pozole because I think you would like it. I, I do a cheater method, um, especially if I don't feel good. I'm not going to... I'm not going to stand over a, a over a hot stove for, you know, hours. So, I will give you my cheater method. It's still fabulous. But you can absolutely make it the regular way, the not cheater method. So here is the acetate sticking out and around. So let's let's trim that off. And then this way the acetate gives the onion skin some protection from, you know, putting stuff into the little pocket. But you still get the benefit of the onion skin look. So let me That go, it's going to go right here. So, I don't know, can you see how you can see through the, through the window? Just a little bit. A little bit. So, I'm going to, again, another, another more glue, but this side just, this time just on the three sides. So, each side and then the bottom. Place that right here. And if there's nothing in the pocket, you can see the page behind it, which is kind of cool. So you can kind of see that. And then when we go to decorate, we can. Um, we can put something cool in there. How's that? Okay. So let's do another thing. Let's do another thing. Um, maybe here. I have this little Tim Holtz. I'm just getting stuff out of my stash. Like I, like I told you, I tore apart my supply closet, right? So, you know, sometimes you find things you forgot you had. So I'm going to maybe take one of um, these papers. I like that one. Uh, this is kind of in a pretty, um, I wouldn't use the word dreary, although I guess you could say that, but very, very dirty tones. Very, they're not, they're not bright and, and cheerful. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a big old pocket for a big old tag. How's that? But I want a little bit of verbiage sticking out from the sides. So I am going to cut this down to about there-ish. There-ish? Or, or maybe it's here-ish. Yes. Okay, where is that? It's got to have a thumb hole. That side would be cool too. But I like this side. So I'm going to just kind of guesstimate a little thumb hole. And I'm going to ink it and then I'm going to sew around the edges. Oops. Look at me. Sewing around the edge. Oh, what color's in there though? Oh well. It doesn't matter. I. I had to do a project for a friend the other day, and um, so the color is like this dark gray. Um, I had dark green in there from, you guys remember the forest lore books that I made, what, about a month or so ago? Well, I had the rest of those, um, that bobbin and uh, thread spool in there, and I was using that up, but I couldn't use that on the project that I was working on, so... Ooh, does this one need a pocket? I mean a window? A window pocket? Maybe it does. I'm just 
gonna put windows in all the things. All the things get windows. Or maybe it needs a slot with a window pocket on the front of it. So this could stay as is, but then maybe there's like a little window pocket on the top. Yes, that will happen. Okay, let me cut this down. So do you guys remember, some of you will, the new, the new guys won't. Um, we had this paper pack. We were all talking about it because I was using it, and I believe it was from Seven Gypsies, maybe, maybe, maybe. And it's this really cool paper pack, and I bought a an eight inch pad, and I bought the twelve inch pad. I bought one of each because it it's just all these funny, um, great like old paper looking, th that's all it is. It's just old, old paper. So it's ledger and it's accounting papers and just tea stain. Well, everybody was all jazzed about it and then they discontinued it. Like after five minutes, it was, it was gone. <laughs> and everybody's like, hey, wait. <laughs> like a lot of people didn't even get to go buy it because all of a sudden it was just, and I don't know if maybe my where I live in this area we got it late and maybe the rest of the world had it for years and it was just time to you know say goodbye it's like ah, how could you just discontinue something that's like a staple I mean it's old paper how is that a bad thing how would that ever go out of fashion I'm asking you right and so there was like this minor uproar. Some of us were uproarious over it. Come on, seven gypsies. Throw us a bone here. We were very put out. Very put out. Okay, let's make a window on the back of this and stop our belly aching because seven gypsies is not listening to me and apparently not listening to you either. So we are out of luck, man, out of luck. I think what I'm gonna do is, uh, uh, try to line this up best of my ability here. Use the top of the ink pad because it has kind of a cool shape. And then, but I don't want it quite that wide. So I'm going to, I'm gonna fake it. Fake it till you make it. Kind of like that. Oh, now we get to cut it out. So, in order to cut out a weird shape, I will just make, you know, some little cuts in the middle and get out my scissors out the middle a little bit. And just kind of, oof, you guys know I am not the best at any kind of fussy cutting. And yes, I have a Cricut. So, so that, that's one of the things that I want to use more because I've had it for like six months and I've used it like twice. So, <laughs> That needs to be remedied, and uh, the poor thing was sitting in the in a cabinet, not even getting any love. So if I can get the supply closet all figured out, I want to like go to the thrift store and see if I can find a dresser, like a not a very wide one, because that um, the closet's only four foot wide. So. Um, I'd like to get a little dresser though because dressers are cool. So dressers are cool because, ooh, not even, um, because, well, they look nice for one thing. Well, if you get a nice one, they look nice. And they've got drawers so you can like put stuff away and not look at it, which is always a good thing. And they're wide on top, so I figured if I could get a little cute little dresser to put in the closet underneath the shelves, 
um, I would put the Cricut on it. And then I would have my little Cricut area. My Cricut area. Now where is, should we do this again or should we just do um, acetate? Can you see, see you can't really see through that. So not to that pattern. I think I'm just gonna do some acetate. So, cause I'd like to use my Cricut more. I'm sure it does all kinds of cool things that, you know, I have no idea what it does. I haven't even had the time to like look at the manual or watch any videos on it or that kind of stuff. All right. Where, oh, it's a bad thing about acetate. You lose it really easily. have a pocket and a pocket and a pocket. So I will be right back. I'm going to go so um, I'm going to go sew these together and then we will glue them down. My wonky little stitches. <laughs> I was starting and stopping too much. But it doesn't matter. It's a junk journal lap book thing. So it doesn't really matter. Perfection is not our aim, right? So, this will get put down. Put some glue on this thing. And we'll pop a squat right there. <laughs> it was so funny, I had so many people knew the SpongeBob reference. <laughs> You guys must have uh, must have kids and grandkids that are the same generation as my kid. Um, I like the older SpongeBob, the newer ones. I just don't think they're as funny, unfortunately. Okay, so cute. And then that way, a big tag could go back in here, or and a photograph could maybe go in that spot. What do you think? That'd be nice. And then what I will probably do for here, ah, I'm, dr I'm dropping things. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, I have one of these papers that is no longer, no longer a thing. And what I think I want to do is get some tape, hold on. Just some regular, you know, regular shipping tape. Just on, just on the edge. And kind of want to center maybe about like that. And there it is, my bone folder. Right. So I don't want to fold this over, I want to cut it off. It's all stuck to my finger. <laughs> uh, okay, go away. Make sure that that is stucketh downeth. And then I'll take some washi washi. Well, I've got a couple. Where's the other one? This one's cute too. This one is um, like little library cards. All the library cards. And then this one is foxes and peacocks and rabbits. 
I really like the color of this one, however. Uh -uh. So I want to cover up that tape and I'm going to go all the way across the side. Let me turn it this way and then that way I can mark it. Seems like everything is taking me five times longer than it should. Oh, there goes my printer again, doing its weird little whatever it is that it does. covers up the shipping tape. But I wanted the strength of the shipping tape. I just want to look at it. And another little piece under under here like so oh my goodness stuff is sticking every to everything everything and everywhere okay here we go with the trying to get this off the off the backing. I don't have fingernails or my, I, don't, I cut them off because I can't stand them. Okay, so fold that back and then line that up like so. Get my, didn't line that up very well. once it sticks it kind of sticks you know what I mean because it's you know it's mailing tape and it has one job and that one job is to stick so I trim off the edgemas stick to everything And there we have it. Uh, turn this back around. And then we have a little flippity flap that folds up and folds down. Because that's what flaps do. They fold up and they fold down. Oh, it's just genius. I know. It's just genius. And I'm not sure what I'm going to put under there. So if you're not sure, don't do it. When in doubt, don't, man. When in doubt, don't. Just hold off. So, here is the washi tape, and you can still see um, the words through it. And here is our little pocket on pocket. Cute, cute. So, we have a pocket and a flippity flap for something. I will think about that. And then we have a double pocket here. And then we can move on to this one right, right here. Because then we have this one, but you know, it's kind of already a done deal, right? So here I do have some, some envelopes that we could attach one of the envelopes and then it could also be like a little side pocket as well. Does that sound like a that sound like a plan? Would that be cool? That's too big. I have this one. This one's from Cheryl. Ooh, I like that. Okay, so this is gonna go in like this but I'm gonna hang it down kind of down low so that 
we can still see Mark Twain poking his little noggin up here. And I'm going to leave um, this part open back here, but not, not the top. Why? I, I don't know. Because I said so. I don't know. Oh. Um. Let me grab one more thing. Some more washi tape. Because I thought maybe it would be pretty to have like a strip of it along the front of this or should it be on the, like the flap? What do you think? There or there? I know you're all yelling at me. So we're gonna do it here. <laughs> um, see if I've got a place I can, aha, aha. Of course it's upside down. It's gonna go like this, okay. So, I'm going to maybe, maybe, maybe put it like there and take off this side because this little envelope has a beveled flap on top. And now I can't find my bone folder. tell you this is why this is why it takes me forever because I lose stuff I'll just grab this one there we go so pretty 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 it just adds a little bit of you know well you would know if you could see it it just adds it just adds something to the edge I think it's really pretty love it love it love it Edge. I didn't trim this edge very well. Go. And I don't think it really needs a f uh, like a closure. I guess we could put one on, but I don't think it really because it's not real heavy. If your material's not super heavy, um, it's likely that it might not it might not need like you know, like something to help it close because it's the bulk in the, you know, in the big, the big heavy uh, paper. I'll get it out. <laughs> um, that keeps it from wanting to close. But this is just a nice, I think it's like a copy paper weight. So I'm gonna put it down here so we don't hide Mark Twain's face. He would be very put out. And now we have a little envelope on the inside of this one. And we may add some more stuff, but right now, that's what we have. Okay, so. So far, this is what we this is what we got. We have our little pocket, and if I grab something that you could, you know, see, like here's one of the little Tim Holtz, one of their playing card. See, and then you can see through it somewhat. So there's that, and then here I will think of something to put underneath there. You could really see through this one, but you kind of cut their little heads off. So we won't put this one in there. And then we've got the big pocket that has a, for a big tag. So we'll put something in there as well. And then here we have an envelope. So all these little tuck spots and pockets and envelopes and windows and stuff. And then next time, I will do um, these two pages because I'm, I'm kind of running out of time. So, um, 
that will be it for today. We will still be decorating. I'm going to be decorating all kinds of things, so so no worries. I did put this here, but that doesn't mean it's, you know, decoration. I just thought it'd be easier to do now. But we'll still do some decorating um, when we put all the stuff together. And then after we get done with that, then we can move on to our uh, file folder pages right here. And then we can add stuff in here and we can call this a lap book or whatever it is that we're calling this thing. Sound good? Sound like plan? All right, kids, thank you for hanging out with me today. And I'm sorry I haven't been around for a couple of days. I'm working on feeling better. So we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna do that. And um, yeah, and I get caught in rabbit holes of all kinds of projects that I've that I'm in the middle of because that's what I do. I start all kinds of things. I finish them. I just start a lot of them at the same time. So it's a squirrel thing. All right, guys, have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful Friday afternoon, evening, or Saturday morning for some of you. And next time I have a little freebie for you. I'm still working on that in Photoshop. So let me finish that up and um, something, something fun for your mini books that you can you can add, I'll put it up at Flickr, but I will show you that next time, okay? And that's another thing that I'm doing is I've got to go finish getting all the stuff for um, our little miniature bookcase for our miniature books. So I got to go finish getting that stuff too. For just so many projects, just so much fun. And I am also, let me reach one. You probably saw this one. I do have a batch of um, books started for the Etsy store. Um, I just, I, I just need a minute to finish them, you know? So, um, a clone would be great if anybody, um, has an in with, um, you know, some secret government lab somewhere that's making clones and I don't want a sheep. I need, I need a, I need a Nick. So send me a Nick clone. Um, cause that'd be great. That'd be great. All right, guys, I will stop rambling and I'll let you go and I will catch you really soon in the next video. Bye guys.